with just over a month before Donald Trump is officially out on his ass, uh, which, you know, means he's he's got to go. He's got to be out of the White House by January 20th. That's when, of course, Joe Biden, after a very lengthy, I'm assuming, fumigation process, uh, Joe Biden will be moving into the White House. Uh, but that means Donald Trump's got to go somewhere. He's got to have somewhere to go. Well, with New York apparently off the list because New Yorkers don't want the Trumps, uh, and his daughter uh, and son-in-law, uh, Ivanka and Jared Kushner, uh, purchasing a property in the uh, Billionaire's Bunker. That's uh, in Florida, Indian Creek Island. Uh, it looks as though the Trump family appears to be heading down to Florida. You know, to America's retirement community. <laughs> Lucky for Donald, he already has some real estate there. Mar-a-Lago. Hmm, interesting. So now... Uh, there seems to be a little bit of a problem with that. Apparently, his neighbors, like the American people, don't actually want him back. Fascinating. Uh, now, the Washington Post is reporting that Trump's Mar-a-Lago neighbors sent a letter to the town of Palm Beach and the Secret Service on Tuesday demanding that the town notify Trump that he can no longer reside in Mar-a-Lago. So, I guess he can't go home again. Sad baby. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, now, why is that? What, why can't he go back to Mar-a-Lago? I mean, that's, te that's technically his, right? Well, the neighbors say that he had signed away that right back in 1993 when he converted what was his residence at the time into a private club. Now, why did he do that? Because he was broke. The greatest businessman ever. And yet somehow he keeps going broke. Weird. He's always in need of cash. Very, very strange how that works out. It's almost as if, and hear me out, he's a shitty businessman. Weird. Weird. All right, anyway. <laughs> uh, so now in order to get approval for that transformation, in order to get some quick cash, uh, Palm Beach made him sign an agreement uh, that no club, club member could stay at Mar-a-Lago more than 21 days a year or seven consecutive oh, days, trouble. among other restrictions. Fun. Uh, his attorney general at the time um, promised that, I'm sorry, not attorney general, his attorney at the time promised that Trump would not live at Mar-a-Lago, and now they're getting ready to live at Mar-a-Lago. Which again, fast forward to now, uh, where his neighbors are basically saying that Trump better not think about living at Mar-a-Lago uh, and saying that if he does, and we don't want this to happen, but if he does, well, it's going to create what they call an embarrassing situation in which a former president of the United States would be ordered to leave as soon as he moves in, which would be 100% unprecedented and hilarious oh my god uh embarrassing of course for whom well donald trump obviously because donald trump's a clown however uh it might also be embarrassing for people who live there <laughs> i mean just imagine being put on the map being known as the place not like oh we have such fancy homes and we have such fancy places and it's such a wonderful experience to be here Instead of being known as that, you're known as the place where the loser Donald Trump gets kicked out of his own place because he violated an agreement he had signed years ago. Decades. Sad. Baby. Pathetic. Wow. All right. Disaster. In fact, here's what one of the neighbors uh, are actually saying. Quote, there's absolutely no legal theory under which he can use that property as both a residence and a club. This is uh, Glenn Zeitz, a nearby Palm Beach homeowner, told the Post. Basically, he's playing a dead hand, which, I, again, I'm not really surprised when it comes to Donald Trump. He's uh, used to playing a dead hand. Uh, along with the 1993 agreement, the Post reports, Trump deeded development rights to the nonprofit National Trust for Historic Preservation, pledging forever 
to give up his rights to develop Mar-a-Lago or use it for any purpose other than club use. He must have been super fucking broke when he made that, uh, when he signed that paper. Like, yeah, 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 okay, okay, I'll sign it, I'll sign it. Just give, just give me the money, just give me the money. I'm so broke and fucking desperate that I will sign whatever you put in front of me. Okay, <laughs> well... There you go. Now you can't do anything. Sad. Baby. Uh, now, that said, Palm Beach hasn't really been a big enforcer of this rule, to be fair. Uh, and actually, they gave Trump special leeway while he served as president and frequently visited the property. But the 1993 deal could end up being a headache for Secret Service, who actually does try to, you know, follow the rules. Hmm. So now, I wonder, given that information, what this is really about. Is this about violating the rules, which are, are pretty clear, but not exactly enforced? So really, is it about the rules, or is it about living next to the embarrassment that is the most unpopular president that I think we've seen in modern, modern times? I mean, as well as the, how toxic the Trump brand really is, or it could be the fact that he might even be the world's worst neighbor. I could only imagine. Uh, but either way, it's, it's pretty hilarious that not even Palm Beach, Florida wants to soon to be ex-president back. And I think that says a lot. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.